My name is Nico and this is Cooking My Way. And tonight, green bean casserole of goodness. Come find us on the web at www.cookingmyway.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and on YouTube, subscribe to our channel and make sure to like and comment on our videos. The ingredients here are pretty simple. We've got some mushrooms that have been chopped up. There's some onions in there, a little bit of garlic. We have some green beans. We're also going to use a little bit of butter, a little bit of half and half, and some flour. To start off, we're just going to put our green beans in some simmering water here, and we're just going to let these come to a boil and cook them till they're just done. We don't want to overcook them, and then we're going to just blanch them in some cold water to stop the cooking. And then as this is going on, we're going to go ahead and start making the mushroom yummy goodness here. So in a hot pan, I have a little bit of olive oil, and I'm putting in the onions and the mushrooms and the garlic. We're going to put a little bit of salt on these, and we're just going to let them sweat down. They're going to emit a whole bunch of water, which is fine. We want to continue cooking these on a medium to high heat um, until the water comes out, and then all the water is evaporated, and everything will start to brown up just a little bit, and that's where we want to go. Um, also, really the only thing other than salt and pepper, I'm going to put just a little bit of French thyme on here. We get ours from Penzi's. It's my favorite spice place. I highly suggest you give them a try if you never have. Really good spices, amazingly inexpensive cost. So these are going to cook for about five to ten minutes, and then this is what it's going to look like. I have put in about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of flour in here, and we're just going to mix this up. It's almost over now at this point. So. Just want to get everything stirred up, make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. We're going to take about two cups of half and half. You could use whole milk for this if you'd like. I just had some half and half that I needed to use, so threw that in there. It's going to get nice and thick and creamy, but um, once you get it in the pan, you want to turn it up high, get it to start bubbling a little bit, and then it's really going to start to thicken up on you. But just keep mixing it up. So I'm, I tasted it, I needed to add a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt. Always good to give this a taste before you move on um, or add anything to it just to make sure that you're putting the right amount of seasonings in there. Stir this up, as you see it gets really thick. Taste it one more time for just to make sure everything's seasoned well enough. And then we're gonna put it on top of the green beans here. So once you get it in there, we're just gonna mix it all up. All right, now that we have this all mixed up, we're going to add in about a half of a cup or so of the French's onion rings. We're going to mix that into the casserole. Gives it a nice little crunch, brings a nice little flavor to it. You don't have to do it this way, but that was the original recipe um, that when French's came up with this. That's how they did it. Kind of like to do it. Once I get that all stirred in, I like to put a little bit on top too, just because they're yummy. And there you have it. This is a way to do this from scratch instead of using canned soups and canned green beans. It's really good. I'd highly suggest you give this one a try. Hope you all have fun out there. Come visit us on the web at www.cookingmyway.com.